Kinsu Rinpoche, Geshe Lama Lundrup Rixel, was the beloved abbot of Kopan Monastery in Nepal for more than 41 years. During the time, he fostered the spiritual and physical well-being of many monks and nuns in his care, as well as provided a place of Buddhist learning for all those who were fortunate enough to come to Kopan to study and meditate. He is one Lama you can completely trust, are the words of Kapji Lama Jopar Rinpoche. A spiritual friend, mentor, a guide who manifested his person as a father, a mother and a teacher extraordinary to thousands of people throughout the world. Kinsur Rinpoche, Lama Luntu Brixel, was a great practitioner of Buddha Dharma, who left no stones unturned in the service to the Dharma. Ken Rinpoche, as he was popularly known to anyone at Kopan and across the globe, was born in 1940 in central Tibet. At the age of 13, he joined Sarajay Monastic University and received novice ordination. At the age of 27, in the year 1967, he received full ordination vows from His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. While he was at Sarajay Monastic University in India, in the year 1970, Lama Thupten Yeshe invited him to Nepal Buddhist Mahayana Center Gompa, popularly known as Kopan Gompa, to teach Buddhist philosophy to the monks. He accepted the invitation and began teaching as well as assuming the responsibility of taking care of the monastery. Kensu Rinpoche, under the directions of Lama Thupten Yeshe, and Kapje Lama Thupten Jopa Rinpoche was the person behind what Kopan Monastery is today. To anyone who saw him in person, he was the Lama with a smile, which was omnipresent on his face, a being with boundless love and compassion to others. Ken Rinpoche took on the entire responsibility of running the Kopan Monastery and Nunnery and also travelled occasionally to Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong to his students. He was an inspiration to all practitioners of Dharma. Kopan Monastery flourished under his compassionate and wise guidance. There are over 700 monks and nuns who are fully dedicated to preserving and spreading the Holy Buddha Dharma throughout the world by actively engaging in an education curriculum similar to the three great monastic universities of Tibet. This has come about under his wise guidance. In 1990, Kensu Rinpoche received the prestigious title of Geshe a doctor of philosophy after having successfully passed the examinations. He was also conferred upon the title of Kin Rinpoche by Kyabje Lama Thupten Chopa Rinpoche. This was in recognition of his profound and vast knowledge in every aspect of Buddhist practices and his experience and compassionate and skillful administration. He continued to serve the monastery for more than four decades. After four decades of his service, he was diagnosed with a cancer in 2011. 
after demonstrating extraordinary resilience to pain, which was for him a manifestation of samsara, Rinpoche entered into Samadhi or Thukdam on the 7th of September 2011. The state of clear light meditation continued for three days. After the completion of Thukdam, his body was cremated at the Kopan grounds. The ceremony was attended by many high lamas and hundreds of monastics and lay sangha. The night after the pujas at Gandhi and Dripung, Kin Rinpoche said that he was going to pass away soon. He asked Kunkin to request prayers from His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Dagri Rinpoche. Then he wanted to see Lama Zopa Rinpoche. Lama Zopa Rinpoche came and they spoke for a while. The most important part of the conversation was when Kin Sri Rinpoche went on to say, If I am born in the lowest of the hell realms, May those beings suffering in there and those who will suffer there, may all their sufferings be put on to me. This was his last request to the Guru. Pujas and prayers went on well into the night and continued until the stupa was opened a week later. Oh, 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 oh. 
The first person to pick up the first relic was Phunsok Rinpoche. He was followed by Kyabje Lama Jopa Rinpoche, Dagri Rinpoche and then the other Rinpoches. Tongue, eye, heart and teeth relics were found. Many other different types of relics were also found, including coral colored and turquoise colored pills. It is planned on Lama Zupa Rinpoche's advice to build two stupas to hasten the return of Kinsu Rinpoche Lama Lundrup's reincarnation and to provide the cause for creating merit to see his reincarnation by building them and circumambulating them. The larger of the two stupas will be at the Kopan Nunnery. It will be a Mahabodhi stupa approximately 40 feet high. The other stupa will be an enlightenment stupa of about 20 feet high to be built close to the existing large stupa at Kopan Monastery. A life-size statue of Kensu Rinpoche is also planned for Kopan Monastery. We pray for the quick return of Kensu Rinpoche, Lama Lundrup's reincarnation.